Breaking news course for Chameleon has released a work in progress core. The next 186 core is for a PC clone with a 186 processor. The nice thing about the 186 processor is it's largely forward compatible with the 286 processor. This opens the possibility of running a lot of 286 based games and programs. If you come over to Cores for Chameleon on Patreon, you can read more detail on this. This is not exactly the first next 186 core, but this is the war, and I would guess you could call it the first official one for the Turbo Chameleon, that is. As a work in progress core, it's a little rough around the edges. That said, it adds a lot of features and has a lot of potential to it. While I'm not finding the, the joysticks to be working at this time, it's nice that the keyboard is already mapped. Though some users may experience some problems right now with the keyboard. So far I have not, luckily. Let's check out the core. have an on-screen menu. You can put fake 286 on. You can put Adlib on, MIDI on. And let's reset. Now you can see EMU 386 is loaded that can help you play some 386 version games and other software.
286 at 174.93 megahertz. Ooh. That's fast. Pretty nice, isn't it? Looks like a lot of potential to me. It's even in a state where you can play a lot of games and do a lot of things with it as it sits. I may make another video or two after I play around with it a bit more. I have a couple ideas. If you want to try it out yourself, come over here to Patreon and download for either your version 1 or version 2 Turbo Chameleon. In case you're not sure what version you have, you'll find the card on the screen now. Either way, as I always say, I recommend you come over to Patreon Course for Chameleon and become a supporter. Show Alistair some love, either become a supporter or give him a one-time donation. I'm not affiliated with Course for Chameleon, I'm just a user and a patron myself. Anyhow, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video.